What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steve Nasantoski here, Amazing Brew, bringing you another Michigan Hockey Highlights video. This time we're looking at this past weekend's series against the Ohio State Buckeyes. Michigan swept them at Yost Arena. Really good to see. Let's jump right into the highlights here. Let's not dilly-dally right off the bat here. Number 71, Granowitz with nice speed up the left wing. Drops it off for Beecher. Can't get that passed, but really good early pressure here. Owen Power dropping it off. Uh, for a good shot from Pearson, not able to put that one in. Um, Buckeyes weren't able to generate a whole lot of good looks. This one close to the net, 94. Eric Portillo, the freshman in net here, uh, his first collegiate start here. Uh, turnover from Van Wy gives a shot on the right wing. Good job from uh, Portillo not giving up the uh, the rebound there. There's a shot from the point at, for Michigan as well. Um, this is a penalty right there on that slash. If I back up, you can see the slash right there, I believe, from Moyle. Uh, so that puts Ohio State on the power play. They had a couple chances on this one, nothing uh, too great. That was pr pretty much the best one across the crease there. Um, number nine oh, back at the point here, able to put it in front of the net for 18. And just nothing really going. Good poke check there from Portillo to dispel that chance. Here's a really good breakaway chance for number 20. Good job from Portillo to redirect that one. That was just a really great pass from blue line to blue line. And uh, Portillo able to block that one. So there were some chances for the Buckeyes in this first period here. Uh, there you can see a penalty with a hold against Cam York. Uh, nothing going uh, too much on this penalty early. Now we've got about a minute left. And there's a shot from LaPointe, not able to get that one passed. Kent Johnson here with the pass to the blue line. That shot doesn't get passed, and that's a successfully killed penalty. Good defense here from Pearson, able to dispel that one, and then uh, able to dispel that one for Portillo. Here you have Ciccolini with a really great pass across to Beecher. You can see it took just an extra second right there, that extra second to handle that puck coming across, gave time for that goalie to come across the crease there. As a result, he's able to get the glove saved there. Uh, good, a couple chances here just going across the crease, no one there to really put this one home, but a um, couple shots there. And uh, we're into the second period here, still scoreless. Here's a good chance up front. Becker not able to get that one passed. There's Truscott with a shot. You got Matty Beneers keeping it near the blue line. He's going to skate up towards the front with a shot. Kent Johnson trying to get that in front. You got uh, Luke Morgan trying to push that pass. Just nothing able to get going. So a lot of good shots here. A lot of good chances up front to get the puck on the net. There you go. Karen in with a shot. So after all these chances, not breaking through right there. Um, there you have Luke Morgan with another shot up front. Matty Beneers around. So they're getting the puck on the net a lot more in this one. That was for sure a stressor, I think, uh, where Michigan has owned the Corsi in a lot of these games. Just converting them into points is what you need to do. There was a good job from Portillo uh, staying in front of that tipped one. Then you have Moyle, really great job there, able to look away from the goal. Let me actually pull up my, uh, my pen application here. Not prepared for this one. <laughs> so if I back up here to this uh, to this goal, you have a two-on-one opportunity. You can see Moyle right here. Watch Moyle's eyes. Right, This is what you want to look at. His eyes are looking over here at Brisson. Brisson is attacking this wing, and that puts this guy in conflict. It also is going to get this goalie over uh, this way to watch out for the potential pass, the one-timer. Because of the eyes there for Moyle, that opens up that left side. It's not a really big window. But it's just enough, right? Right here from post, right here. This is where he's looking at, and that's why the eyes help get this goalie to drift this way just enough to leave that gap just wide enough. You can see it works. Goalie's like, oh, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> but you can see the eyes, the discipline of the eyes there. He's he's already shooting this puck by the time that his eyes come back because he knows the shot, the point where he's aiming before he's even doing that. So a really good job from Moyle, able to sneak that one past one goal advantage thus far midway through the second see right there i believe that was a penalty yeah that was a penalty in, uh, behind the net against ohio state so michigan goes on the power play again there's a shot from the blue line here you have Beneers uh, getting to the end of the power play there really good chance pass up front can't capitalize there so not able to convert on that one we're under five minutes here in the second one good little attempt there from cam york out in front to morgan to tip that just not able to get that one going uh, there's a shot up front, really good glove save from Portillo. He was uh, pretty impressive in this one, uh, in my opinion. And then here you have a hooking penalty against Van Wy. That'll send him to 
the penalty box. Um, really good opportunity for Bordelow shorthanded here about a minute into the power play. Able to get that strip. Oh, he went five hole, just can't get it past the goalie. Um, who he himself had a really good game with how much pressure Michigan was applying. Here's a couple chances just kind of flung at the side of the net. Again, not too many grade A chances for the Buckeyes. Um, you know, let's fast forward here through this uh, possession. Um, this is important. That I'll, uh, I'll tell you why I'm fast forwarding through this in a minute. So a couple chances across the, uh, uh, the crease there, finally on the right wing, some space for number nine and a redirect goal in. Um, you can see up in front of the net right there, tipped to the right at Portillo. No chance really for him. So why was I showing that whole possession? It's because right here, if you notice, this puck is right here. But this guy's across the zone, right? This should have been offsides. And the reason this can't be overturned is because at some point there in that possession, uh, it was defended upon by Michigan. So if this were the case where Ohio State scored right after this, say it was just like a pass from 13 to 18 and 18 scored, then you could overturn it because it was defended upon by Michigan. Like I think Michigan had possession at some point after this because of that missed call and because of that uh, defensive possession, it wasn't able to be overturned. So despite the zone entry here being invalid because um, yeah, it was offsides, but anyway, goal right back. So <laughs> we're in the third now, really good job from Bordelo, uh passing across the crease here good job from uh from 19 there Beecher able or Brisson excuse me Brisson able to put that top deck so really good find and uh you know you could have seen a Michigan team kind of be pissed off about that uh call and not respond back but um it's good job from Bordelo Brisson to get that goal advantage back there's a shot from Becker this Leaks out to the left side, and Ciccolini able to sneak this one past. You can see Blankenberg, nice shot there on net. And again, it's just about getting the puck on net. Good things will happen. Beecher actually there, if we back up just a little bit. Beecher actually kicks that. Watch his right skate right here. Boom. That sends it to the left there, and Ciccolini, good hustle to uh, just sneak that in inside the post. You can see right there, there's that kick from Beecher, able to find the left side of the net. Good job from Ciccolini again, just getting his, st his stick on it, sneaking it past off the goalie, and that's in. You're, so you got a two-goal advantage here. You're about 2.30 left. Ohio State has pulled their goalie. Good job from Beneers getting the puck possession uh, out of their own zone. Good pass here, and you got Moyle putting in the fourth and deciding goal. You're up three. Uh, again, Ohio State decides to... Uh, pull their goalie again there. You have Thomas Borlo with a tripping penalty, so you're going to have six on four for a bit here. Some extracurriculars behind the net. Buckeyes aren't happy. They're going to lose this game, uh, but they're just saying hello, saying how's it going, and they're going to go on the power play here. They were able to close the gap by one goal here. A couple chances there. Good job from Portillo uh, sliding across there, but yeah, with about 10 seconds left, good block there. And then you got a tip pass 13 is second goal you can see right there again not much that you can do if you're portillo in that case so good performance from him four to two is the final for the first game of this two game series and for this next one we're gonna have strauss man the captain back in net let's start going on these highlights um early on really good chance on this turnover van why provides this uh oh breakaway chance and you just you just can't put it past he went glove side beecher there and just could not get that one past him so uh you know if, if you don't get the first time you try again and he gets his second opportunity on another breakaway decides i'm going to go five hole this time and puts it past him good job napier did not stand a chance on that one so good job learning from the first one and putting that one in michigan's up one nothing early a couple shots really good chance there for van Wy up front not able to put that one home Good puck movement, good pace early on in this one, and Michigan able to generate a lot of chances. This puck finds its way over uh, to Passajov. Can't get that one in. Another turnover. Bordelow with the slap shot just going wide. Fast forward here a little bit. Michigan's going to get put on power play. Scary boarding penalty there. Uh, luckily, Passajov is okay. Recently announced assistant. He's got that A on the, uh, on the jersey now, and uh, good for him. Great to see that. Here you have the second goal. Owen Power from the blue line. Nice pass back, and he's ready for it. Sneaks by the blocker side. 
uh, between the pad and the body there, right there. And this is the best angle. You can see it sneak through, and Michigan's up 2 nothing midway through the first couple shots. Again, uh, nothing really going early for Ohio State here. This creates a uh, three-on-two opportunity. Really good defense there from Ohio State. So I actually want to give them some credit here. It's three-on-two, and what you have is you're going to have a pass going across here. Philip LaPointe is filling this space right here, looking for a one-timer that can be provided right here. Cam York's going to take the puck go here and put this guy in conflict this guy does a really good job putting his puck, his stick down right here because this is the pass you want right with his momentum he wants to pass this right here for the one timer that's a really hard save for the goalie so this stick right here is a really good defensive play uh it creates a really tough pass and it blocks that opportunity for michigan so give him credit where credit is due and uh cam york just can't get that over to the point would have been a really high percentage shot there for the point there um, so Michigan is, is stuck at 2 nothing. Good job, Strauss Mann. Again, not allowing any second chances there. Good attempt out front there with a tipped uh, shot. And Strauss Mann, again, showing his uh, strength on the right side there. A couple chances early on. Puck fluttering in here as well. About midway, three quarters through the first here. And right off the bat, off of this, uh, off of this face off, watch passage off, putting, putting a shoulder into 16 who just kind of goes... <laughs> like a flop mode here just whoa so they called this a penalty for interference right off the face off um luckily not able to get a whole lot man able to save that one uh, they're gonna have another chance here for osu number four from the left wing blocked off of the shin of pearson good job getting in front of that michigan has done a really good job especially in these last two games getting in front of uh pucks you can see here the diving motion here forces this shot up high uh, I think that hits off of Cam York. So good job sacrificing the body for the better cause here. This one, a slap shot right to the shin of the Buckeye. That can't feel good. Pearson, you can see right here. And, oh, <laughs> my shin hurts just from looking at that one. Uh, second chance not able to go in. Um, some pleasantries again at the end of this period. They're laughing. They're all smiling. Um, and Michigan able to... Uh, to get some pressure early on in the second face save here. You can see this goes off of the face of N Napier right there, the old mask save, and LaPointe nearly gets a stick on that one. So a uh, couple chances here for OSU, just shots across the crease. Um, they're not able to get any grade A chances there. So good job from Michigan's defense not allowing those high percentage shots. Things getting a little chippy here. You got a cross check, watch right in front of the net right there. That sticks a little high. And uh, Michigan goes on the power play. Good puck movement here. Back to Blankenberg. He rips one. Um, goes off of the post. So good passing there between LaPointe. Uh, you can see that Blankenberg right off the post there. But Michigan able to capitalize shortly thereafter. Pass from Bortolo back to Cam York. This gets tipped. From passage, you can see right here, the trajectory of this puck is going a little bit to the side here. It's going to be going on this path. Passage, is able to redirect it, and it goes uh five hole against an appear there you can see right there that tip and it sputters through uh five hole there and uh, michigan's up three nothing midway through the second um good chance here for osu uh the shot just goes a little wide so again even when they were able to get better chances not able to capitalize um there's a shot that gets deflected and it knocks a sign off all right so it gets deflected out of play knocks a sign off and this is uh perfect because it helps highlight that uh, Ohio is the worst state ever. And you have the intern trying to figure out where do I put this sign back up? And you get a ton more airtime of that wonderful sign. So happy to see that going on. <laughs> um, uh, eight minutes left here in the second. Some more chances. Ciccolini out front. Uh, here's a pass back to Owen Power. He just throws it to the front of the net. It goes off of LaPointe. And Van Wise able to put that one in top deck. And uh, again, when you put the puck on net, good things are going to happen. Michigan did a ton of it in this one, and they're up 4 nothing for their efforts. Here's a really good chance. Kent Johnson, a good pass up front to get him the puck. Not able to put that through five-hole, but cross-check penalty gets Michigan again with the man advantage. Here's Bortolo with a shot. You got passage off up front, and then he just <laughs> yeets this stick to the moon. You can see right here a little cross-check from 16 Loses his stick. Passage off's like, here, let me find it. Oh, just kidding. See ya. <laughs> so it turned out into like a four on four penalty. Uh, didn't end up with any scoring. So it's worth it, in my opinion. Good job there um, on defense there from, I think that was, uh, who was that? 
anyways um slap shot here for 20 and this goes in good job right there redirect from the points leader in the big 10 i believe that it was uh kent johnson out in front and michigan's up five nothing so one minute left in the second good chance here up front strauss man being strong let's pause here face offs one uh was a really big difference maker for michigan and five different goal scores in this uh first two periods and obviously the shots almost two to one advantage for the wolverines so uh, turnover here, though. Pearson uh, puts this one uh, in the hands of the Buckeyes. Good save, though. He actually stops this one, gets in front of uh, 17 there, able to block that one, so makes up for it uh, from the turnover to that save. Some chippiness in the corner here. You got some cross checks going on, 13 going on, so multiple penalties. You got power <laughs> holding the guy in the headlock. Um, and Buckeyes retaliating here as well. Look at the top right of your screen right there, the cross check. Ooh right to the neck, so that's going to put Michigan on another power play. Here's a two-on-one advantage, Strauss Mann being strong again, but missing shots uh, for Ohio State. There's a good glove save from Napier, so he wasn't all bad. Um, <laughs> that's so rude. Um, anyway, turnover here. Got Passageov with a nice shot, and able to capitalize there. Um, and then you have uh, Pearson with a little bit sloppy defense, giving 71 an opportunity. Got called on a holding uh, penalty there, so power play for the Buckeyes. Uh, puck sputters out in front some chances man able to dispel those uh, there's uh, some tips out in front as well number 13 trying to get in the action and wise holding him by the head there and that's it that's the game five nothing right so you had four two and five nothing michigan uh, with the sweep in ann arbor here uh, this was one that again i thought michigan really needed really need to get back on track with this uh, they're heading into a tough series this upcoming uh, weekend against the fighting Irish and Notre Dame, so you really need to be on their A game. They just beat uh, Minnesota hockey, and Minnesota's one of the best teams in the country. So um, Michigan was swept against Notre Dame earlier this year, um, and you know hopefully they can return the favor. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Throw a like, throw a subscription if you haven't already. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. Thanks again. Stay safe out there. As always, go Blue.